31st December 1996, p.m. in the morning, 17 years old girl left her house. It sounds very strong, but she was not allowed to speak. She was not allowed to express her feelings. She was without confidence and she was hardly able to speak any language. But she wanted to sing, she wanted to dance, she wanted to sp do sports and many things. But life was not easy in small town, in her house or outside. Something broke inside that day and she just followed her call and left her house middle of the night, 3 a.m. Started, started running towards to the station without planning, without money, one pair of clothes on her and just jumped on the first train and landed in big city Bhopal. It was not easy, but call was so clear and loud and she just followed. Without money, nothing was easy, no support system, survival was so tough, but she was very determined to finish her graduation, to explore the world. Needless to say, the girl was me. Series of small jobs and she managed to finish her graduation. The typical escalator of India. I thought after graduation, everything will be fine. I will get the job, I will survive well. But that was not the case. Soon I have realized Engineering is not my subject, and I've started styling people. That's how I stumbled upon fashion, and that word was new for me. Thanks to my friend, with the help of my friend, I managed to sit in the fashion school for a few days, but soon kicked out of it because I was not having money to pay. But thanks to, thanks to my uh, uh, I managed, I managed and uh, I survived and uh, uh, after that it was not easy for me to do things. Uh, education uh, did many, many random jobs and uh, I landed, uh, I landed in uh, Mumbai city, cutting very short, I don't want to go in details. I got job in Barodra and I, l I landed in Mumbai doing a job in export house as a designer. Soon landing in Mumbai, I, I met with an accident and that, that put me in a bed for six months and I lost my job. Again, the survival was tough. The little voice was pushing me again and again from that new structured life. And again, I got job as a gym instructor and gym. That was not my subject, but my little voice was pushing me and I did it. But I used to take my design portfolios to my gym clients and I explained this is my passion and I want to do fashion. Many clients, they appreciated my work and one of the client was bank manager's wife and she pushed me to uh, take loan of 50,000 rupees and I've opened my very small 100 square feet boutique in Malad suburbs. It was not easy. 19 years old girl, no fashion background, no fashion study, no fashion sense. But that little voice was pushing me stronger and stronger. I've opened my first store and then second and then third and fourth one was the big one in Juhu. By that time, many people were working for me and business was going really well, but something was missing. I, I soon have realized I needed to do fashion study, but it was quite challenging. Business was running, but that little voice, it was there and she pushed me again. Let's do it. And I've enrolled my post-graduation in Delhi while my business was in Mumbai. It was quite challenging. I used to travel Bombay, Delhi almost every weekend to maintain my business and doing my course. But 
टू ईयर्स ऑफ नाइट मेयर बट इट वॉज वर्थ इट बाय दैट टाइम आई वॉज हैविंग माई स्टाइल माई क्रिएटिविटी बट लॉर्ड ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट विथ माई फैकल्टीज माई स्कूल बिकॉज आई हैव नेवर डन माई स्टडी इन अ कन्वेंशनल वे एंड अगेन दैट लिटल वॉइस वॉज पुशिंग मी लेस डू एंड लेस गो एंड डू फैशन वीक विच वॉज नॉट अलाउड बिकॉज बिफोर ग्रेजुएशन यू कांट गो आउट एंड डू समथिंग बट आई हैव नो चॉइस आई हैव टू लिसन टू हर एंड आई अप्लाइड आई गॉट इट एंड आई डिड इट द फर्स्ट फैशन शो इन लैक्मे फैशन वीक इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन आई हैव शो केस माई फर्स्ट कलेक्शन एंड आफ्टर दैट आई डिड माई ग्रेजुएशन i was particularly lucky i didn't have any structure fashion education at the very beginning that allowed me to be a sort of artist textile artist my means of expressions was always art and fashion never liked talking hardly spoken broken english also been born and raised in madhya pradesh next to the chanderi village and i've seen always my mother wearing chanderi sari i've always felt the hand weaves are the most elegant and sophistic sophisticated fabrics and my encounter with the weavers i was in love with them the the skill the art the how many hours they put behind this practice it's amazing it's amazing to see how they tie 10000 looms 10000 threads on the loom just as a preparation they are not trained they ha- they don't have any formal education of maths science geometry design etc but everything falls in place so magically they are real artist indeed it was inspiring an emotional moment for me and of course big turning point i found my purpose the little voice was pushing me show this to the world and hand weaves became my mission to take it on a global stage but everyone was shouting and saying this is not trendy this is not fashionable this is not glamorous and i i was horrified and of course i needed to find i needed to find how to make it trendy and traditional and then again that voice was pushing me stronger and stronger and stronger with all this confusion with all these expression i started experimenting with sarees cutting sarees draping sarees using traditional silhouettes making making it modern many ways somehow i found my style also being in mumbai till i was living village life i was particularly lucky coming my roots were coming for small town where sustainability is way of life it's very simple nothing extraordinary where mother used to shout and i used to be so irritated mother used to say don't throw things don't waste things learn how to reuse how to recreate you know simple simple example i give you if her saree is new she will wear it outside if little bit torn she will wear it at home or maybe it will convert in my frock or i'll see curtain on my window or table cloth on the table or cleaning fabric on the floor i think this is very simple way we have learned the sustainability simple way we have learned how to respect nature we used to have aadha angan aadha ghar half house and half half garden that was the simple message the nature is your extended body so you have to respect you have no choice many things like you have like you have to respect people you have to value people i think this is real sustainability and without without knowing i have followed when i was unknowingly when i was creating vishali as now it's extremely trendy fashionable that's the real way of life we have lived and we lived in india in small towns and villages so with this i was because i was in i was doing fashion cutting fabrics 
it was so disturbing and painful to see throwing leftovers and my little voice she said you have to do something and i started rolling fabrics in different textures different buttons different uh, cordings and started giving them shape but somehow i was out of context with my hand weaves exploring fashion world always dressing up in sari putting bindi and walking on the ramp these are the days i have explored hand weaves different hand weaves techniques and i have lived with my weavers i have learned from them it was amazing experience i have realized i needed to do i needed to give design innovation shapes to these weaves to make it global and their little voice again she was pushing me make it big with hand weaves it was not easy people were not accepting india was not happy it's not fashionable it's not glamorous i called up new york my little voice said pack your bag and go to new york i packed my bag i went to new york not having any kind of ex exposure of new york i did few shows finally in 2016 new york fashion week happened and that was the first show in new york using hand woven fabric and thanks to my little voice new york has given me business and confidence sales were really good in india and us but again the little voice was not happy one day i woke up and i said let's go to new york let's go to paris art couture week it was not easy one person believed me believed in me he sitting here alessandro giuliani he said you are mad but let's do it and i became first female designer ever to showcase at paris art couture week that was amazing feeling but then covid hit everything was shut down locked down no resources no carigars nothing was there but now i think you know me i did it with minimal resources i managed to make collection while everything was shut down i had to cross seven different countries to reach paris but i did it it was sense of achievement and and preparation for like bigger platform and after that of course after paris again i don't want it to my voice was my little voice was always so aggressive and she said let's go to milan fashion week and next milan fashion week happened and brand became the first and only brand to showcase in milan and paris both only with hand loom fabrics so the now little girl was not that little and she may have done things relentlessly unthoughtfully or maybe sometime rashive but thanks to that little voice listening to that little voice and not doubting on her possibility to achieve things that has managed to put indian handloom craft at the biggest top global platforms and ever like only indian to do so here i want you to take one thing from here we will have several turning points in our life but we will have several little voices it's your choice if you want to ignore and live safe life or you want to jump into it and have courage to listen to that voice believe me that voice knows more than you and that voice will open all impossible doors for you